good morning from in the paddock and me and today we're looking at a little bit of fantastic diversity here in the paddock but what I really wanted to focus on this morning was the size of these leaves in terms of capturing sunlight. We do have some uh, narrow leaf species in here somewhere, there's a bit of carpet grass but really and truly if we're in the energy business this is what we're looking for these great big broad leaves but also the height okay what's going to affect the capture of sunlight which drives all life is the height and the density okay of green leaf as well as the size and the time that that leaf's going to be green so just about all of these plants here are perennial so as long as we've got the right temperatures, the right humidity, uh, and the right environment, these plants will continue to capture sunlight and make this land biodiverse and productive. So we just let the cattle in here uh, this morning, and they'll probably be in here for four days, and um, then we'll move them on. The first frosts are probably due not too far around the corner, but because of the good moisture and the good environment here, I'd expect these plants to recover a fair bit after we move the cattle out. Thanks for joining me. Thank you for watching. My name is Brian Welberg, and I teach regenerative agriculture and holistic management. If you'd like to learn more, please go to my YouTube channel or my Facebook page. Thank you for watching.